male, biological male, male, female. Oh! Oh, can't grab the cage. That's... Oh, uh, that big slam with that point you got. Oh! And this one, baby. Cheetah is tough. I have watched Cheetah fight several times. Cheetah is tough as they come. She's got to try and do more than just come in here, though. If she can push on the hips and maybe try to sweep. Sometimes women are just delusional when it comes to physical strength or any of this stuff like men versus women. Just everyone has to accept that just different genders and different, yeah, we are good at different things and we complete each other and that's just the beauty of nature just as with, is, it is with animals is the same thing with humans. Patrick, this is very hard for me to say this <laughs> and let me tell you why it's very hard. I said, what's that? She says, ever since in high school, I wanted to prove to men that I can beat them. So when I graduated high school and college, I opened up my salon. We do very well. I've made millions of dollars. My people and my work uh, that, that work at the salon, they do very well for themselves. I drive a nice car, I have a nice house, I have money, I have millions. I don't worry about any of that stuff. You know what decision I made last night? I said, what's that? She says, I want a husband. I no longer want to compete with men. Mm -hmm. I need them. And I'm like, what? She's saying this in front of 2,000 people with her sister sitting right next to her. Wow. And now she's getting emotional. How many 65-year-old women do we have to hear saying that I march with the feminist movement and I bought into the fact that men are the enemy. I've never been married. I'm alone and I'm miserable and I wish I would have never bought into that philosophy. The one thing that you cannot take back is time. And for a lot of people, they wake up and they see around themselves that they lived a life of lies and misery and it takes a huge effort and a lot of luck to turn your life around while you still have the time. But for a lot of people, there is no time, trust me. A, a woman that's like 35, 40, no kids, no actual relationship, what chances do you still have? of someone that falls in love with you and oh my god you are the love of their lives you you, you never know that i had an abortion two years ago and i don't regret it at all they yanked the fetus out of my uterus they yanked the fetus out of my uterus and i'm so happy okay i'm so grateful okay and i'm a professor at this university okay and i make more money than you okay and what else all right well we'll, we'll pray for you okay we'll pray the lord save you thank you okay no problem um, whatever, I wish I knew your name so we could know where to pray. Uh, well, either either way, either way, mm -hmm. your soul. Either way, your soul. Kind of an what, what what makes me that? You kind of ruined everybody's lunch. Or like, oh, oh sorry. You took the court out. Yeah, I took the court out. Yeah, because okay. you won't give me my bike mic back. Please, okay. please give me my mic back, please. Please, young lady. Thank you. Thank you. Have a have a good day. Okay, you're not stronger than me. All right. God bless you. God bless God. you. Hey, 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 officer. This young lady went. She's trying oh, to rip my stuff up. Oh, I'm assaulting her. <laughs> okay, if on. I get arrested right now, I would literally Why are you black out. Like that? Hi. No, it's not. Okay, you should probably let him have this stuff. Can I ask a question? Of course. Go ahead. But Am let go right now. Him? Is this let go right now. Yes or no? Let go right now. Yes, no. Yes or no? You're under arrest. Put your hands behind you. We, we pray for the grace of God for you. Finally, the police are doing their job. You as a woman, you cannot just go around and harass people in public, especially when they talk. Yeah, sure, you can engage in like an actual civil conversation and try to actually get to a solution. But you see all these people, they just go and harass and they become kind of violent and they go up into your face and just because they disagree with you or what you're doing or your whatever it is, right? So it's nice to see a bunch of this entitled woke women actually getting some justice because uh, it's about time there's levels to this in every game it's and just like business in what general are, just to be clear what are you prime you're prime top notch what makes you time prime top notch who tank uh, i mean i have everything that you could possibly ask for as far as brains beauty ambition I would build my no. man up to be everything he wants no. to be in this world. I'm, I'm the no. best investment he would ever make in his life. And no. my shit's exclusive. I've invested in my body. I have a $150,000 body. No one barely touches me. Yes, you can see me on Instagram because I'm paid to do that. But nobody touches me unless a man, yes, a does lot. take care of me. I like bosses. I like millionaires. I like someone who's going to mentor me, teach me, and invest in me. And 
get me to my highest level as well. To be clear, what's a $150,000 body? Uh, four BBLs, two breast augment, technically five BBLs, but we're going to go with four. Uh, two breast augmentations, obviously Botox, Botox, lip, in lip injections, and then I had the fat buckle removed out of my cheeks on my face. Wow. And how young are you? 28. 28. And what age do you want to get married? Uh, I don't necessarily have a time restraint on myself. I feel like God's going to, you know, make me cross paths with my future husband when that time is right. So you uh, I probably have about another 10 million in real estate that I need to develop before that um, so that I can reach the caliber of man that I want to be my future husband. And how convinced are you that a man is attracted to a girl with ambition, brains, $10 million in real estate, or just being nice and sweet? What do you think a man is most interested in, especially the man that you're looking for who's worth millions of dollars? Does he want a, a, a ambitious boss babe or a nice, compliant, beautiful girl that doesn't give him headaches? What do you think most men like that would prefer? I don't, I'm not looking for what most men or most Well, you should be because you want like. that kind of guy, so you what should be. What do you be. mean? I, no, I'm looking so for I'm like that, that one in a million where I'm, you're looking at like Grant and Elaine Cardone. You're looking at okay. like, you know, power couples, Jay-Z, Beyonce. Those people are building an empire together. Let's play in reality right now. You're not going to marry Jay-Z or Grant Cardone for the sake of this conversation. You're going to marry some no, successful guy. No, my own. Guy. I'm going to have exactly, my own. <laughs> exactly. So that guy, how much is he worth? Close Make to up a number. A hundred million. Okay, so that guy that's worth a hundred million dollars, <laughs> yes. go with me here now, Kay. Yes. Does he want a boss babe who's trying to sell real estate or a trying. nice, lovely, compliant girl who's willing to get on his schedule? What do you think that guy wants? Think about it. Uh, well, I only date men that are at that high. No, caliber. no, no, no. I'm asking so, what you think. I don't care what you think. I want to know. I think they want me. What he They're thinks. They're constantly pursuing me. What well, do you mean? Why? Why aren't you married to one yet, though? Because I don't want to be married to one yet. I thought you just I've been said building you... my own business. But I thought you... I've been proposed to twice and turned it down. It wasn't you the right one. You turned down a guy worth a hundred million dollars twice. Mm, Fifty million. But yes. Why in the world would you turn him down? Because I still have things to do. So you think that you're just going to go find another guy worth fifty million dollars is ready to wipe no, you up? No, well, I like I said, a hundred million. I like to okay, double so down. Fifty million guy was just too poor for you. No, he just wasn't the right one. You do realize there might be people in the comments calling you absolutely delusional right now. That's do you fine. realize that? I don't care what they have to say. Okay, so I'm asking you I to put yourself, <laughs> take off the I'm a hot girl, paid 150 grand, boss babe, okay. priceless punani. Take that off. Okay. Give me a guy's name that you'd be willing to marry. A guy's name. Hundred million dollar guy. I don't. I don't know. Let's call him Jay Z. Let's call him. <laughs> let's call him Jay because okay. we're not talking of Jay Z. Jay is worth a hundred million dollars. Uh -huh. Do you think, think about it, money. he cares how much money you make? No. You don't? Okay, let's stop there. Do you think he cares about your attitude? He, uh, to an extent, yeah. To an extent? Yeah. He cares a lot about your attitude. He cares a lot about your attitude. But I have a great attitude. Now, no, you okay. don't. <laughs> oh my God. You're not worth a hundred million dollars, so your opinion doesn't matter. Okay, so listen to me. You just said you. So turned only down a person that's worth a hundred million dollars' opinion matters. Yeah. As far as me like being in an intimate relationship. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Would you say that you're agreeable? To. No, just in general. Would you say you're more agreeable or more disagreeable? <sighs> Depends on the. In topic. general, like. In topic. So, for instance, if you ask me, Adam, are you agreeable or disagreeable? I'm disagreeable. As yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm deceptive. Okay. So you too. I'm very deceptive. Yeah. Okay. If that dude comes along, do you think he wants an agreeable woman or a non-agreeable, disagreeable woman? That dude with a hundred million dollars. What do you want? I'm asking you. I'm asking you. Yeah, you better f***ing agree, okay? Okay. Uh, if I'm worth a hundred million dollars and I'm like, hey, baby, need you to do this. Don't be like, why am I doing this? Because that dude, you know what he has? He's got, ready, wait for it, options. So if you don't get on his page, th you said, McQueen, you don't even got a hundred million dollars. Why are you? I know, man. Just, yeah, I, dude, I don't even know why you're here right now, player. Here, <laughs> so, I hear what you're saying. You got confidence. You got your swag. You spent 150 grand on your body. Do your thing, whatever. I'm just letting you know, sweetheart, the more disagreeable you get, the more you'll be packing your shit up at that dude's house. Letting I, you know. I never lived with a man, so. You've never even lived with a dude? Oh, What's yeah. clear? So you don't even know what the f you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. She never met a guy that uh, may, uh, was worth 50 million or 100 million. She looks like one of them uh, a woman like at the brothel or something or like a, at the casino in uh, Las Vegas or London or whatever it is and you pay like 500 bucks and she's yours for the night or for the hour. Other than that, in my experience personally, people that have the highest expectations have the least uh, amount of things to offer.
in this case she has nothing to offer basically it's like honey how how did you make 150k for uh, plastic surgeries obviously you've made way more than that how and if it's of or some uh, business model like that i don't want to hear it what are your qualifications how come you are gonna have like a 10 million portfolio of whatever they just have this insane standards in their head and that's it you're not gonna meet the guy you're not gonna be marrying anyone even remotely close to that you are gonna be with some guy that maybe i don't know has has a failed marriage already has a bunch of money and he's gonna be like yeah whatever i'll just be with her because i'm just tired of trying and that's gonna be the end of that partner every five year change i don't think you're with your wife they you have the same wife like the first day you met her it's not the same you Helena. don't actually have a wife that's, you no, never actually because i don't want to lose 50 <laughs> percent <laughs> uh marriage for the most part these days uh unfortunately it's not really about love or commitment or any of that stuff it's not about romance or falling in love and actually being attracted to someone it's usually more like a partnership and an investment really it's about uh, oh we make this much money together we do this and this and this and that's it for me it's sad because uh, marriage shouldn't be about that it should be about you know feelings and other stuff and then everything else just uh, comes into place but I guess i'm the the one who's wrong true or false only women get pregnant true <laughs> true 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 very true absolutely true true or false only women get pregnant. False. False. <laughs> that, I would just love oversimplification. All these people that are seeing all this stuff in front of a camera, none of them believe it. None of them believe that men get pregnant or any of that stuff. They are just saying that because they want to be nice. And they want to say the socially accepted thing. Yeah, because they don't want the repercussions. Other than that, nobody actually believes men are women and uh, women are men and men can get pregnant and so on. It's like, no, 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 only a biological woman can get pregnant, period. A lot of women can't get jobs in construction. They Have get you ever tried to be down. a concreter? Yeah. No, but I totally would. Okay, why aren't you? Because I'm not educated on it. Why don't you go and get educated on concreting? I totally would. Like, as soon as I get things straightened out, sure. I want a different field. Well, I'm tired of the medical let, let me, field. Let me tell you this, and you can disagree with me if you'd like. You wouldn't last two minutes as a concreter. Because unfortunately... I'd like to try to prove people wrong. In the modern world, you can think that all you want. And that's because your life is so comfortable that you can have that strain of thought. But the fact of the matter is that I did concreting for mm. a few months. And I didn't last. And I'm not a weak guy. But these guys are some of the hardest people you'll ever meet in your life. They are up at the crack of dawn every day, breaking their backs. Oh, you yeah. would not last a single day. You can sit here and say girl power all you'd like. You wouldn't last a day. I guarantee it. Nope. She wouldn't last a day. But you see, they already know that. It's just a tactic that they use because at the end of the day, it's about power and social um, popularity. You know, that's it. They want that and they will do and say whatever it is because they want to feel above men. The are, are so liberal. You know, there's a lot of father issues there. A lot of daddy issues for daddy sure. Issues. The biggest thing is this, more young women need to get married at a younger age and start having kids. The uh, the single woman issue is one of the biggest issues facing a civilization, yeah. We have more single women in our, the early 30s that are the most depressed, suicidal, anxious, lonely in America's history because there's a biological clock that's going off and they realize that they're not gonna be able to have kids so they start to lash out on the rest of society by voting Democrat. So date like you're gonna marry, I guess that's gonna well, be- Well yeah, just get married early. Like stop, reject the siren song of modernity and have lots of kids Absolutely. like being a partner at a local law firm actually isn't that big of a deal having three kids is a really big deal and will make you happier and it's okay to be a stay-at-home mom in fact we need a lot of stay-at-home moms and a lot of women want to be stay-at-home moms and we have miserable women because we've been shuffling them into a corporate wasteland when in reality a lot of them don't find a lot of passion or fulfillment in that line of work and who can blame them yes because it's the me 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 generation and everyone just wants to have fun in this day and age, it's all about clout, it's about pleasure, it's about traveling, you can do so much cool stuff these days. You can travel, you can have all these experiences, whereas 50, 100 years ago, 
you, well, life was way more boring than it is today, really. So you had nothing going on for yourself other than, you know, ah, I'll just find a guy from my local community, have some kids and that's that. These days, it's about traveling, career, me, 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 hedonism, all that stuff, pleasure, passions, desires, you name it. And this is how we end up in these situations. <laughs> She has a flat ass and she doesn't know how to twerk or dance. So that's a that, that's a double crime right there. It's not a question you I think it's I'm not carrying right? number one when I came here. Yeah. My the okay, back, you can go inside. No, I'm not going in there. I need a lawyer present. You will get a lawyer. It's no, I need a lawyer present now. Okay, please. Where am I going? I have no idea where you I'm have going. You to go to the police station. What, what, how, what address is that? It's five minutes away. Uh, it's they, five they minutes away. What's, what's the address of the police precinct? When you, uh, we'll catch you next show, we have to do it very fast. And we will help with... For, you, you're talking about my show? Yes. What about it? Uh, yeah. We talk... They, they will help to try to get you there. Okay. They'll help to try to get me to my yes. show? So how? Uh, to do it as soon as possible. But what, can... what am I doing? What am I doing? I you never gave anyone arrest. my. I never. Oh, I'm. Oh, so I'm under arrest. Yes. But yes. under arrest for what? Stop for you no. I'm under arrest for what? Okay. Do you Stop know what happened now. when I came you here? You have to go inside. Huh? What you said? Can you please stop filming? It's just stuck in the car for us? No, I need a lawyer, but I, because I don't know where I'm going. You will get a lawyer at the office. You can contact the lawyer, but if you just step in the car, then we, it will go as fast as possible. And who's going in the in this in this vehicle? So please step. He will go with you. When you are in a situation like this, just comply. If they abuse you or if they do anything illegal from the police department or whatever, some officer is doing something illegal, you can sue them later. Other than that, just comply and don't give them the chance to handcuff you. Yeah, just play nice. Be like, okay, whatever. It is what it is. We'll sort it out, this out. And that's the best thing that you can do. Anything else besides that, you are playing into their hand. Your dad is uh, extremely religious and she's uh, extremely uh, transgender. That's the tea. It's pretty cold, but it's tea regardless. My room does not have a flag. It used to be there, but I took it down during COVID because it made me uncomfortable. I packed it away and I don't know where, and I haven't found it yet. <laughs> But my kid today goes, hey, um, it's kind of weird that we just stand and then, you know, we say it to nothing. And I'm like, oh, well, you know, I got to find it. Like, I'm working on it. I got you. <laughs> in the meantime, I tell this kid, we do have a flag in the class that you can pledge your allegiance to. And he, like, looks around and he goes, oh, that one? Honey, if you play stupid games, you're going to win stupid prizes. That's how the world works, unfortunately. So uh, you just have to kind of like deal with it. White racism does not exist. Not even if black people are getting preferential treatment in school admissions? That is just not, I don't. Can I ask you what's your political stance? Are you a conservative? I am a conservative, yes. Is that a problem? Yes. <laughs> Why? Goodbye. All right, bye. The painful sigh I have when videos like these come up. You look so pretty. You're supposed to say I ate. Oh. Damn, you've been eating. Sorry, ma'am. You obviously are and haven't stopped. It's not gonna hurt, but if you wanna like beat me on camera because I'm black. <gasps> no. Oh, you already seen it. No, I didn't. No, you beat me because I'm black. Yeah. Uh, she she took the bait. Obviously, it's a joke. And I'm happy for that. I thought you supported socialism, free everything. Walk away. Why do you call it a uh -huh. No, what is this uh -huh. like 
I thought you supported socialism. I also support surviving in a country where I don't you have health care. Mar- out of my face, you freak. Please don't scream at me. I haven't raised my voice. I don't care if you didn't raise your voice. It doesn't make you sound like any less of a misogynist. Get the f- out of my face. That was kind of scary. Yeah, you should be scared. You should be scared. Because you're a piece of s***. How about you talk to your doctor about your health problems and leave my health problems with me and my doctor and get the government out of it and who oh, you're a stranger? Stranger? You want to look at my face? Get the f*** out of here. I never said I wanted to look at her but. You, all of you like white supremacist people think you just why, talk calmly, you seem you just, normal. Why so did, why are we upset? Because you're a psycho. I can't talk with yeah, her. She just screams. You see all these people, they preach acceptance, they preach diversity of whatever it is, right? You talk to them and you ask them basic questions and they just become so violent because for them it's clout, it's social power, it's power in general. Yeah, that's what it's all about. And they just parrot talking points that they hear on TV or whatever it is on the internet. And that's just a way for them to... I don't know, get attention, I'm assuming. Other than that... Is the amount of money that you two girls are making on OnlyFans, is it worth giving up a family and love? Because any man that is worth his salt that you would even be attracted to wouldn't put up with it. I can tell you right now. And you, my dear, are a depreciating asset. Every day that goes by, you're going to be less and less beautiful. And at some point, there's going to be a history of you doing that. As beautiful as you are, you're stunning, you're a pretty girl. But no man that is going to be in your league is going to put up with it. And so the question is, if you were truly in love and you had true desire for a man that would put his foot down with you, tell you how it was going to be, would you or would you not give up your only fan? No, I wouldn't. Same way if I wanted to really expand my did, dating goal. Then you do I'd not genuinely desire that man. Dogs. You would not be in love with that man. Good job because if you were in love with that man, you would you would shut it down. And that day will come for you. It'd probably be way Again, down Again, why don't I put on a hijab? Because then I can find a man who actually reciprocates because Muslim men lower their Any gaze man, when other women that ask you to do by. it and you say no to, you're going to look at his b- You will not respect him and you will not love him. Any man that you look up to and respect, you would quit doing it for. And that day might not be today, but it will come. It's just the fact that most men are so insanely pathetic these days that they will um, they will encourage this type of behavior because let's not forget these women they make some of them they make bank on the internet and they make bank because there's an ocean of simps out there and most men are simping. Imagine no guy ever paying or any subscriptions or any of this women websites you name it but this is the economy that we live in so these women they've adapted yeah she's sold her soul for some cash yeah she messed up her dating life yeah she's gonna have young women who will look up to her and they will destroy their lives too and the dating prospects are gonna grow really really thin but they don't care because they want money they want power they want the instagram lifestyle they want colorful pictures on the internet so it is what it is why do that? What you don't know is that there are two realities in life. Mm-hmm. One is that of good and one is that of evil. And now that I've been able to overcome evil, I don't identify with angry, evil black people. I identify with other uh, blacks and others who are on the side of good. And so that's why I say you people because I have to divide myself or separate myself from evil and go along with good. So that's why I do that. What is it that makes us evil? I'm sorry, your anger, your blaming others for your problems, your lack of love and respect for yourself and others. Yes, and he is 100% correct. Once you accept Christ, once you become a Christian, an actual Christian, and you see the difference between good and evil, you are gonna separate yourself from evil people or rude or bad people even if they are your own family your own ethnicity nationality race you name it because you are gonna be on the side of good and you are gonna try and really assess your life and not be like them do you prefer chivalry or do you prefer equality equality what about you I'm agree. about yourself equality okay so you said you're in a relationship right mm-hmm. who paid for the first date who paid for it yeah who paid for the second date? It's been a while. But what you think? Probably him. Who paid for the third date if you got a thing? Probably Did not him. Okay, so that's not equality. How long would you take care of your man if he couldn't work anymore? Mm. And be honest. Like six months. Six months? Yeah. Okay. okay. Well, that's not equality. 
What about you, Gigi? I've done that before, so I'd say like, well, yeah, so I'd say maybe like three months. Three months. And what about you? I say a year. The ladies that said that you prefer equality over chivalry, your answers contradicted yourselves. And the fact that I have a timeline on it, that means that it's not equal because men, it's in our nature to provide for a woman forever. So even though you say one thing, which is like a politically correct answer, because the media right now is ruled by the crazy Dems and they socially constructed your mind to believe nonsense sense but true deep down in your deepest part of your soul you don't want equality women don't want equality they want special treatment and if they actually like you and love you they will give you special treatment yeah so you have to find someone that's loving and knows how to cherish the person next to them yeah don't go for all these uh, uh, selfish whores that you see on podcasts or whatever it is yeah that's not the real world that's not real women yeah, it's just like a cherry picked bunch from some god forsaken city. Ladies, if you are gonna uh, hit or uh, men, whatever, prepare to be hit back. Yeah, it's self-defense. Just don't do that. Behave like a lady, and he's gonna behave like a gentleman. Are not the person. That's a lot of nerve, considering the alternative is somebody that don't want nothing to do with you or your child. I'm sorry. That's a lot of nerve. You just show me where your priorities were right there. I'm a single mother with nobody that loves me or my child. I'm not. No, you were. He is over here breaking down because he loves this child so much. I sit here day after day after day with women hoping a man would drive 16 miles to see their baby, much less 160 miles each way, and abide by a court order and sign a birth certificate and come day after day and week after week so they can grow visitation to have a relationship with a child. And you have no compassion for not just him, but for Zaylee. She's three years old. Now, he's not just going to be heartbroken. We got to break this news to her. And y'all over here cheering like it's a sport. This is this baby's life. And I asked you, where's this other man? I don't know. And you know he don't want nothing to do with you. I do love this uh, edits that I'm seeing lately. And it's just the fact that women still are behaving like this and the end is near us.